is Anubhuti from Sensitive.com. Welcome back to my channel. So, uh, is going to be a makeup look video for uh, this look. Uh, I will start uh, from a daytime look, um, like this kind of heavy, smoky eye uh, daytime look, and uh, then I will show you how you can transform it into a nighttime look. So I hope you would really enjoy this video. Also, I have um, tried to use minimum tools uh, and minimum makeup products uh, possible. So um, anyone can do this makeup look video even if they do not have all kinds of products. So I hope you would really like the video. So without any further ado, uh, let's get on to the look. We are going to start with a clear uh, skin and we are going to apply the primer first. Uh, this is the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer Primer uh, for blemished uh, skin and uh, just make sure you pat it all over the skin uh, perfectly. This gives a perfect base for the uh, base products to glide on uh, now we are going to apply MUA matte foundation you can use any foundation I prefer using matte foundation in summers so uh, we are going to take this and apply it on my neck as well as on my face you might be thinking this is a shade light for me but when I blend it you can see it matches the rest of my neck so this is the right way to choose your foundation shade you should apply it from your face to neck uh, to see if it matches your skin perfectly which is the perfect way to choose your foundation shade and not on the arm this foundation is a bit thick in consistency and uh, uh, takes a uh, hard work when you use brush to blend it and it doesn't work at all so I use my fingers to apply it and blend it I have not tried to use uh, my sponge use uh, for blending this one but I think fingers work perfectly This combats the redness of my face. For, we are going to use a lollipop concealer. Uh, this is the shade light beige or 21. This is a shade lighter than my under eye uh, color and uh, I do not have much uh, dark circles or blemishes on my face. So we are just going to do uh, no, correct, no color correcting, just going straight ahead with the um, concealer, which is one shade lighter for a little highlighting effect. We're going to apply that concealer under eyes in an inverted triangle shape and then over the eyelids and we are going to blend it with the fingers. This is also a thick concealer, so uh, it gives a good coverage, but at the same time, uh, if it dries a little bit, it becomes very hard to blend. So you have to be very quick to blend it. This does not crease or anything like that. I, I sort of love this concealer. Perfect for oily skin type. All the products I'm using uh, will work perfectly for oily skin type to combination skin type, but uh, they might not be suitable for dry skin types. I'm using the same concealer over the bridge of my nose, uh, center of the forehead and uh, cupid's bow, corner of the mouth, corner of the eyebrows, wherever you want your highlights to be. Just blend it perfectly. Now we are going to set everything in place uh, with Johnson baby powder. This is my everyday setting powder and I love this because it mattifies the play, uh, face and uh, it keeps it oil free for a long time. I'm using a real technique powder brush dupe. This I purchased from buying coins for about 1.5 or 2 dollars and the quality is perfect. I have been using this for like past 2 or 3 years and it has not gone bad. It picks the right amount of the product uh, you need for setting your face and does not uh, give it a powdery powdery look. So now we are going to use MUA makeup 
palette uh, which is my most abused palette you can see <laughs> how abused it looks we are going to pick a shimmery brown shade from it and we are going to use our finger to apply it all over my eyelids and a little beyond the crease since I have hooded eyes, I like to go a little beyond the crease. You do not have to be very clean about it because we are going to we are going using a single eyeshadow all over the eyes. Uh, so this is going to be a little messy. We are going to we can use it just like that. Now we're going to take a clean uh, blending brush and I'm going to pick the same shimmery brown uh, eyeshadow from the palette and we are going to blend the blend the edges. Make sure there are no harsh edges now once you applied the eyeshadow and you're blending it. You have to blend it to perfection. Make sure you blur out all the edges, all the harsh edges. Now we are going to pick a matte grayish shade from it and we are going to use uh, in a little above the crease to give it a false crease kind of uh, feel more of a transition color sometimes i go uh, for the transition color beforehand but this time i'm applying the transition shade afterwards so that it gives the definition because this shade is lighter than the eyelid shade i applied now we're going to take the brown shade and we're going to intensify the outer corner and we're going to blend it with the crease shade we just applied blend everything perfectly we are going to pick peachy highlighting shade from the palette and we're going to apply it on the my brow on my brow bone not under my eyebrows on my brow bone just blend it perfectly it will give that perfect lift for your eyebrows now we're going to pick the shame brown shade and we are going to blend it with the highlighting shade we just applied so that it doesn't look like we have applied several eyeshadows all over the place let's blend everything perfectly Now we are going to take Bourjois Cool and Contour Pencil. This is the shade, I do not remember the shade name, but this looks like army green or olive green, whatever you call it, and it matches my top background perfectly. So we are going to draw a slightly winked eyeliner using this. I like pencil liners because they are so, so easy to work with. We are going to use the same pencil for the lower lash line and for the tight lining our eyes as well. The shimmery brown uh, olive green combination looks so gorgeous guys. I have tried it for the first time and it turned out to be beautiful. Now we are going to use NYC Showtime Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. So this is the technique I use uh, to fill my brows. I first apply the clear mascara. I know it is supposed to be the last step, but I first apply the clear mascara and then I use a matte uh, grayish black eyeshadow to fill my brows. I'm using a Maybelline gel liner uh, uh, brush, uh, which I find perfect for filling my brows. So what happens this way, Your my eyebrows are a little wet, so whenever I'm applying the uh, eyeshadow to fill my brows, it sets it in the place once the gel starts to get dry. And you can see how what the difference it makes. Filling your brows really changes the game. Now we are going to take a clear mascara brush and we are going to comb through our eyelashes and eyebrows and they are done. We are going to use P2 Clump Free Mascara. You can use any mascara you want. I, I do not like this mascara very much. This is a creamy mascara but this actually is clump free. I like the brush that's why I apply this mascara I do not like the formulation that much. It is very thick, very creamy and 
I just don't know, but I just like the brush. It is such a cute brush. The curved part does not have any bristles in the center. So once we are done with applying the mascara, which I got all over my eyes as well, we are going to take the same Johnson baby powder and apply it under my eyes for giving that baking kind of effect. And we're going to apply it on, on my center of my forehead and bridge of my nose a little bit. And then cupid's bow and then chin area to give it a little baking, baked effect. You can do this step before applying your eyeshadows as well. Uh, to, so this will help you catch all the fallouts as well. But I like to do it afterwards because this works for me. I'm going to apply NYX Dusty Rose Blush which is a beautiful Dusty Rose Blush but uh, your uh, my Real Technique Blush Brush does not pick that much product so I am going to use my Real Technique Expert Face Brush to apply this to swirl it around top of the X's and you know the deal. Apply it on the apple of your cheeks. Smile a little and you will see the apple of your cheeks. Give them a flush of this color. Then I'm going to clean the brush on a wet tissue and using same brush, I'm going to apply the bronzer to give a little more definition to my face. This is very Me Peach Me Perfect Powder in shade bronze. This is kind of a shimmery bronze shade which looks perfect. You can see the golden shimmer in it. This looks a little muddy uh, on the face, but if you apply it over uh, overboard, if you go overboard with it, apply it uh, side of the nose and on the f uh, like just along your jawline, where your below your jawline, below your chin, to the neck, just blend it everything to give that uh, wherever you apply your contour, just apply this bronzer light handedly like just below the cheekbones and then below the jawline and then below your jawline to blend it in your neck so this will give you a chiseled neck look and just blend it every blend everything i apply it on my forehead uh, near hairline as well it looks a little muddy on my face but once i dust off that powder so it looks perfect it blends well I love this powder brush so much is it just dusts off all the powderiness I'm going to take a clear q-tip and we are going to remove all that mascara dried out which we accidentally smeared all over the place now lip for the lipstick I'm using uh, this is Chambord Extreme Wear Lipstick. We, since we are going to do a daytime look, I'm going shade 481, which is a perfect uh, nude shade, uh, perfect brownie nude shade for my skin tone. This is how the color looks and we are ready for the daytime look. So this is the daytime look and in few seconds, I will show you how you can transform the same look to a nighttime look. For the nighttime look, we are going to use a different lipstick, which is uh, from the same range but different shade, a little bit darker shade. So we are going to pick a golden shade uh, from the palette and we are going to apply in the inner corners of the eyes to give it a little more uh, pop and uh, you know glam to the eyes. So our eyes are transformed, we are going to pick the highlighting eyeshadow peachy highlighting eyeshadow from the palette i'm going to use it as a highlighter so above your cheekbones right above the blush and blend it to the blush blend it to the eyes as well we're going to use the same shade on the bridge of her nose since i have done heavy eyes i'm not going overboard with the highlighter otherwise i would use a proper highlighter but this much highlighting sounds perfect for this look we're going to use this all the highlighting places like cupid's bow chin uh, bridge of the nose and just we're going to blend everything in place and i dropped the brush 
now we are going to intensify the blush a little bit since it is a nighttime look uh, we uh, can uh, no, do with a little more intense blush and we are going to just blend it to the highlighting shade uh, we just applied so that it is perfectly blended now we're going to use the powder brush to dust off any powderiness from the face and everything looks perfect now for the lipstick we are going to use chambord extreme wear liquid lipstick in the shade 483 this is a perfect blend of dusty rose uh, brown and uh, pinks perfect for a nighttime look and with this the look will be complete you are ready for a nighttime party so that was it i hope you uh, really enjoyed the video as much as i uh, enjoyed filming this um, i will try to do these kind of looks more often which i personally rely on like they do not take much time much products and you can especially do it uh, do such kind of looks when you're traveling when you really um, cannot carry much products many products with you you can just carry one uh, uh, eyeshadow kit or something like that so these kind of looks are very really easy to do so uh, that's all from my side I uh, really appreciate if you like the video then please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel I would leave all links in the description box below so make sure to follow and lots of love bye bye